Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own pipeline report so you can see your opportunities by stage and dollar amount. So the way we do that is we create a report. And in this case, I'm showing you opportunities. So we're using an opportunity report type. And the first thing we want to do is get our filters right. Now, in your case, you want to make sure that you only report on the opportunities you care about. So is it all opportunities or just your opportunities or your team's opportunities? Maybe you care about a particular date range. So maybe you want to know when the deal closes in a particular time frame or the deal was created in a particular time frame. So you could say, for example, find me all the opportunities that are closing this quarter, this year, next month, this month, that kind of thing. And then really just any other filters you care about. Like, do you only want to see open deals uh, or only deals of a particular type or a particular uh, value that you care about? So you, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your criteria in your report is set up correctly so that you report on the deals you care about. Once you get that right, then it's about coming up with the columns you care about. For most pipeline reports, the basics are going to be what's the deal, what's the name of it, the opportunity name, how much is it? What's the close date? And we really want to group by the sales stage. You're welcome to add any other columns you care about, but this is kind of the bare minimum. So now we've got our uh, deals in a particular stage and we can see how much they are and we can see their close date. Uh, what you really want to do though is just make sure that the dollar amount is summarized. You want to make sure that sum is checked. All right, and you can see the subtotals for each group. You run the report and now you'll actually see all of the opportunities by stage. And when you scroll down, you'll see maybe the next uh, grouping there. And I don't care about the individual rows in this particular video, so I'm going to hide the detail rows. And now you can see each group and the total sum of the dollar amount of all the opportunities in that group and also how many opportunities are in that stage. And so I'm going to add a chart. You can click that little chart icon at the top. And by default, it's a bar chart. And you could keep a bar chart uh, the way that it is, or you could change it to a funnel chart. That's what most people kind of expect when they want an opportunity pipeline visualization. And you can decide, do I want to see the dollar amount in each stage or the number of deals in each stage? And then you can pick a couple other options as well. Like, do you want to see the dollar amount or the percentage of your pipeline in each stage? Make it look the way you want and save the report. Give it a name so you know what the report is and you'll find it later. Put it in a folder so the appropriate teams or groups of people have access to it. But it's just a demo in my case, so I'm going to save it in public reports. And now you've got the report. This report works. Other people can find it and access it. You can check it out whenever you like. But if this chart is something that uh, you want to access regularly, you might want to add it to one of your dashboards. So you go to a dashboard you have, you edit the dashboard, you find that report uh, as one of the available components to add to the dashboard. You select it and there it is. You can now add it to your dashboard. You can change the settings for the chart if you like, or you can just tell Salesforce, use the settings I already set up in the report section. Move the chart wherever you want and you're good. And I'm going to go ahead and save the update to my dashboard and you're going to see it take effect real quickly here. And now you've got a functioning pipeline dashboard component and you can click on any one of those slices, any one of those sales stages, and it'll take you to the report filtered just to that stage. So if you just want to see the deals and let's say the negotiation stage, you could do that. Or you could click on the link at the bottom of that dashboard component and see all of the stages. And from there, you can just check the boxes if you want to drill down into any specific sales stages that way. All right, so hopefully this showed you how to very quickly create an opportunity pipeline report, create a funnel chart, and get it added to your dashboards. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.